Hello there YouTubers, Kurt here again. It's been a while since I did my last video because my computer broke and I had to get a new one, so I've been having fun with that. Um, yeah, and I've been selling my new album. Um, if you want to buy it, there's links below. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I want to talk a little bit about my transition between playing electric guitar for six years then playing acoustic. Now, I think acoustic guitar is actually something that is very important for um, electric guitar players. And I consider myself primarily an electric guitar player, but uh, there's going to be certain things that's going to help you um, if you try to learn a few licks on the acoustic guitar as well. Um, there are some primary differences. One of the first things I noticed as a difference was that um, in order to get good tone, um, your action will probably have to be uh, pretty high, uh, pretty far away from your frets. Um, and it's going to be a little bit harder to play, um, but one thing that can do, that can build a lot of finger strength for you, and that's very good. Um, another thing, one of the most important things about playing acoustic guitar, and to keep this in mind, is that it'll help you as a singer and it'll help you as a songwriter because it helps, the resonance helps you hear your own voice a little bit more and it helps you hear a lot of the um, note interactions within a chord. Um, so that's going to be something that's very good for you. Um, as far as chords, learning those full chords on like an acoustic and then transferring it to an electric, that can be a very, very positive thing. Because I think a lot of uh, electric guitarists out there, they really don't know how to play more than power chords. And when you don't know how to play more than power chords, you don't have really a full understanding of what's going on um, with the keys and whatnot. Now if you learn the full chords and you learn their variations, you learn a little bit more. Um, it's kind of like you implicitly learn a lot of music theory. Um, and uh, like if you understand how the chord changes from a major chord to a minor chord, you're already understanding a little bit about the whole circle of fifths thing. Um, but you can know that uh, implicitly without having uh, formal training, but acoustic guitar is great for um, teaching you that. Um, and that's really most of what I have to commentate. Now, if you're going to solo acoustically, um, yeah, solo, it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. The interactions uh, between the guitar and speaker are going to be a little bit different. So, uh, and you're going to be, not to be able to bend as much. So, yeah, you'll have to, that'll also help you learn a little bit more and make you a little bit more versatile as a guitarist. Now, um, and sometimes as a guitar player, there's not that many opportunities for you, depending on where you live, to necessarily get the band that you like and get that band to give you success. So, what I found is that even though I haven't, I've been part of bands, but uh, bands, you know, they kind of get together and they dissolve very much. Um, an acoustic guitar helps you be a solo musician and it gives you that empowerment. And it helps you express your arts no matter what your situation is. Um, and it's just good because an acoustic, a two, a, an acoustic guitar is just socially acceptable if you're a, sol, a solo musician. Um, so that's going to help you get your name out there a little bit. But anyway, I think um, it's good for any well-rounded guitarist to maybe attempt to learn. And I, I don't say that just because I um, just started learning. I, from my experience in the past few months, it's been, um, I think it's been very helpful to my development as an overall musician. And that's after my, like, uh, over six years of playing electric guitar, too. So I still keep up on both, but this has really helped me as a songwriter, and I use this guitar... Um, to write my songs and it's helped me sell my latest album and uh, that is that's honestly a really great feeling um, So yeah, hopefully I'll be back soon. I've been working on a Van Halen <laughs> guitar cover um, So hopefully I'll bring that to you pretty soon. I still have to work out some things on my uh, Yeah on my computer and whatnot, but uh, so far I almost have everything up and running back to where it was before um, So yeah, got a great pretty good computer at a good price I'm really, really happy about that. But that's off topic. So if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'm Kurt, and hopefully you buy my album, because I, I work pretty hard on the thing. But it's about 20 minutes, and uh, not that expensive. But uh, I appreciate you viewing this video, and anything else that you may even want to or want to not buy. 
I thought, uh, I thought maybe you guys might, after seeing the guitar, maybe like a little bit of a demo of the guitar. And it's in my other videos, but this is um, Mahogany Top, and it has a little bit darker of a sound, and I really like that about this guitar. great very unique sound to this guitar and that's why I love it but uh, so that's my quick little demo of that um, and you can watch any other videos so I appreciate it thanks guys